Real Estate Radio. I'm your host, Shanna Register, and every week we bring you news and information you can use on your next real estate transaction. If you've got a question, a real estate question, give us a call, 281-882-8088, and we'll be happy to answer your real estate questions right here on the air every Sunday. That number again is 281-882-8088. You can also send us your questions via Twitter using hashtag H-R-E-R, and we'll answer those on the show as well. Every week, we like to hear what you have to say about what's going on with real estate. Uh, So give us a call. And if you miss any of today's show, you can catch us online at HoustonRealEstateRadio.com. This video, uh, this segment will be videoed along with all of our previous segments that we put online as well. So this segment, I've got Regina Lindsay uh, in the studio here. She is the Director of Economic Development for the Greens Point District in Houston. And, you know, I think it's interesting. I want to, we've talked about different areas of Houston and things that are going on and I know there's a lot going on in that area the kind of known as like the airport district a um, lot of things going on there so welcome to the show thank you thank you for having us we're excited so tell us kind of the where your district is located obviously it's around the airport but give us kind of some some road guidance sure uh, the I-45 uh, north Beltway 8 intersection is actually the center of the district okay. and the Greens Point district is technically uh, the 12 square miles around around that boundary and what is Greens Point district mostly known for uh, in terms of our economic base mm-hmm. um, we are um, we have a lot, uh, quite a bit of class A office space so we have house a lot of headquarters um, mm-hmm. type type uh, companies. We also have tremendous uh, distribution and logistics because we are the one area in Houston where you have multiple north-south corridors as well as an east-west corridor. We also have uh, quite a few data centers and high-performance computing centers and advanced manufacturing. Okay, a lot going on in that area. A lot. And then we've got a couple of sectors that are beginning to grow. The healthcare industry is one of those. So let's talk about the, the healthcare industry. Well, before we do that, tell me this. Is it... Um, Um, That area where you are, I know there's a lot of economic uh, development and growth going on in that area, but are there a lot of people who live in that area? It is mainly a um, a, a business center. Okay. Uh, there there are some residential, but the vast majority of it is multifamily. Okay. So we have about um, a hundred thousand people who live in the um, the, the district, mm-hmm. and then there are about seventy thousand people who come into the area during the day to work. Okay. So how like ballpark? How many businesses are in that area? There's about forty four hundred <clears throat> businesses within the Greens Point district boundaries. Okay. And of those uh, 4,400, would you say the majority of that is is made up from the airport? Uh, I don't know that the majority of the, I wouldn't say that, but I would say that most of the companies that are coming in really like are looking for ease of access to the to the airport so they're not directly related to the airport Mm -hmm. in terms of business but we have a lot of international companies in the greens point district and one of that is because of all the um, non-stop flights out of um, intercontinental you know to places around the world but also domestically too it's just it's just easy with all the growth that's going on in houston are there any parts any flights that are being increased to bring in certain countries that you think you're going to see more growth in those areas i think that china is going to be a really interesting market to watch for a couple of reasons. One is Air China just started their first nonstop flight um, to Beijing in, in July, but that coincides um, almost um, immediately with some changes that are going in, on within the Chinese um, 10-year plan where they have, uh, where the central government has mandated or has um, expressed a, a real priority for outbound investment for the first time in China's history. Okay. Uh, in the past, what we've seen from the Chinese has been acquisitions of companies, mm-hmm. but now you know, the, the government is asking them to go out and do true investment. And so with those factors in play, it's going to be interesting to see the growth in that market. Interesting. Okay. So that when, when airport tra- changes come along, mm-hmm. it makes a big difference in, the, in that area of the town, right? Yeah, absolutely. Interesting. Okay. So you mentioned um, medical is changing a little bit. What What's going on? Uh, well, we've uh, just had... Uh, Texas Children's open up at their largest clinic outside of the Texas Medical Center. It opened in August. Uh, They have extended hours. They have, uh, at least during the week and then on the weekend, Mm -hmm. they provide not only services to children, which is obviously what you think of when you think of Texas Children, Mm -hmm. but they also, uh, they have a a new paradigm where they're taking a... uh, 
a, a woman who is pregnant, go working with her through the pregnancy, actually going through the delivery with her, and then so prenatal care. Yeah, is exactly. Becoming important, and I mean that should be important because that's such a huge. I mean that impacts the rest of that child's life and the medical expenses that are going to come later. So. It does, it does, and just to be able to have that now, you know, on the north side of town, mm-hmm. uh, the full that full service to uh, to the to the people who live out here and work out here is going to be really important. Mm-hmm. Absolutely, that's interesting. Okay, and UT um, Medical Center, are they yes. doing anything? Um, UT physicians has uh, just announced that they will be moving into the Greens Point as well, area as well. They um, will be opening up in spring, probably April, a 7,900 square foot um, facility. Currently, they'll just, they will be offering um, OB-GYN um, services, pediatric and uh, family medicine. But in the following year, they plan to bring out neurology and cardiology as well. Are there any big tracts of land left in that area for companies to come in and purchase acreage to build high rises on or um, office buildings on? Yeah, we uh, for the area for when you look at Houston, you know, a lot of people think that there's not uh, large tracts of land, and a lot of areas in Houston are completely built out. But Greens Point um, actually has quite a few tracts. Uh, the one that po- most people would be familiar with if they drive into the Greens Point District is what we call Pinto Park. And it's uh, the largest um, shovel-ready business park uh, in in the Houston area. Uh, now, they're filling up really quickly, uh, but, uh, but, but, there are, but there are tracts of land out there. There's another uh, development called IDI, which is on the uh, south side of the Beltway mm-hmm. and the east side of 45. And they have uh, they have several tracts of land available as well. There's some other pockets, but those are probably the two largest. Tell me about crime in the area, because I know Greens Point is known to be a high crime area just by word of mouth. I don't know how much truth is in that, but you, know, you do hear of it being a high crime area. I know there were a lot of problems with the mall that, mm-hmm. that's there right there by I-45, um, and we can talk about that in just a minute. But can you speak to the crime in the area and, and if it's getting better, worse, what changes are going on? Sure. Well, there, there's some history to that, and, you know, and actually the crime... Uh, issue was the impetus for the creation of the district. We were actually created in order to develop programs to to ad- address what was going on with crime in the 80s. Um, and when you have a um, a, a um, catchy slogan that gets tied, you know, to an issue like that, it gets very hard to shed that image, mm-hmm. even though the reality is very different. Uh, so a lot of people think that there is tremendous crime in Greens Point, but when you get down and you look at the statistics, what you find is that uh, of the top 10 beats. Um, with HPD, mm-hmm. there are only two of our beats that are in the top ten um, in you know the, in areas like the Galleria and uh, you know West Chase and all the other areas that have people mm-hmm. have have beats um, that are in the top ten. Mm-hmm. It's just if you have people, you have crime. You also find out that most of the crime that's taking place in Greens Point is um, in the multifamily housing developments, mm-hmm. and it's usually people that know people. You know, it's it's person on person crime that um, with between individuals that know each other. Right. So those are really the facts. Uh, you know, there, uh, the Greens Point Mall, we do have a, um, a public safe, a police, police station out there, substation that the Greens Point District funds. Mm-hmm. And that's really helped address a lot of the, uh, the issues that, that um, people think are still going on out there. That's a big building. What do you see happening with that mall in the future? Yeah, the the mall is a, you know, that's, that's probably, that's one question that we get asked quite a bit. Um, and, there has been some some new development out there. There's a brand new movie theater out there. Uh, the city uh, is very interested in seeing some uh, things happen out there. There's been some incentives on the table for the mall owner, but he has to do certain things mm-hmm. in order for those to come through. And so it's a uh, really it, it really falls back on the owner in order to get motivated to do something out there. Okay. All right. Well, good. Very good information about the Greens Point District. I appreciate you coming in, Regina, and talking to us about it. If people want to learn more about the Greens Point District, or maybe they're thinking about opening a company and that might be a good area, how could they reach you? Uh, www.greenspoint.org. All right. Greenspoint.org. Thank you so much. Uh, up next, we've got Jim Sheffield with the Northampton Mud District. We're going to be talking about some mud districts. And later in the show, we are going to have Chicago Title on talking to you about some titling issues. We'll be right back here on Houston Real Estate Radio. 